Have you ever wondered what secrets your eyes hide? What your eyes might reveal? What if I told you that by simply looking into someone's eyes, you could uncover valuable information about their overall health and well-being? Welcome to the world of iridology, the study of the iris and its ability to reveal fascinating information and insights about our bodies. Hi, my name is Beth, and not only am I a master herbalist and traditional naturopath, but I'm also a certified comprehensive master iridology instructor. I've been using iridology to help myself, my family, and my clients understand how to support and target their healthcare needs through the information revealed and found in the irises. I've been doing this for about 20 years. So let's dive deeper and explore the wonders that lie within the eyes. Now the iris, the colored part of the eye, holds a wealth of information about our physical and our emotional health potential. Each iris is unique, like a fingerprint, and each iris contains thousands of nerve endings that connect to the various parts of the body via the optic nerve and through the spinal cord. By examining the patterns, colors, and markings within the iris, an iridologist can gain insight into potential weaknesses, strengths, and imbalances within our systems. Iridology helps us understand the interconnectedness of our organs and systems, providing a holistic perspective of our health. For example, certain colors or markings in specific areas of the iris might indicate potential issues in corresponding organs or body parts. By recognizing these signs, we can take pro proactive steps towards maintaining our well-being long before any symptoms even arise. But how does this intriguing practice work? Well, as an iridologist, I use a magnifying glass or a specialized camera to examine the iris up close. We study the colors, the textures, and various signs that appear in the iris. Each subtle detail holds meaning and can help guide us toward improving our overall health. Iridology is not a diagnostic tool, but rather a complementary practice that can assist in identifying potential underlying issues or imbalances. Anyone can use iridology to help understand how to raise awareness about their unique health needs and encourage them to make informed lifestyle choices. Our eyes provide us with a fascinating window into our inner selves and they also provide us a roadmap to our own health. One of the first things that we look at is the color of our eyes. The basic color of our eyes tells us which systems of the body will most likely need the most support. For those who have blue eyes, the area of the body that needs the most support is the lymphatic system. Blue-eyed people like myself also tend to have issues with an overactive immune system, overactive lymphatic system, and they also tend to have problems with their respiratory systems and their kidneys often need support as well. They are also prone to skin issues such as eczema, psoriasis, dry skin, and dandruff. Now everyone needs to get junk food and processed foods and packaged foods out of their diets, but our blue-eyed lymphatics especially need to eliminate these foods as they cause congestion to the lymphatic system, in the lymphatic system. Wheat, dairy, and sugar are dietary culprits that cause congestion in the lymphatic system and the respiratory system, and they put strain on the kidneys. That's why I am so adamant about using grains such as kamut and sourdough style bread in my own life for, for my own family. Ancient grains such as kamut and einkorn don't have the gluten content that most wheat does today. Plus, the fermentation of sourdough helps break down the gluten even further. Kamut sourdough bread and bread made from other ancient grains still need to be eaten in moderation, but it doesn't put as much strain on the health of the body and especially doesn't put as much strain on the health of the lymphatic system for our blue-eyed lymphatics. So what can a blue-eyed lymphatic do to support their health? A diet filled with plenty of vegetables and fruits would be highly beneficial, especially those that are high naturally high in sodium, natural sodium, foods such as celery, beets, and kale. 
Now, in case you didn't know it, sodium, natural sodium found in fruits and vegetables is very beneficial to the body. Dr. Bernard Jensen called sodium the youth element, and that's because sodium found in our foods naturally, our fruits and our vegetables, and not the white stuff found in our salt shakers, is known to make our joints healthier and us more youthful. Now, for those who have brown eyes, true brown eyes, the area of the body that needs the most support include the blood, the cardiovascular system, and the glandular system. In iridology, people with brown eyes are called hematogenics. Hema, meaning ha having to do with the blood. So we call them hematogenics because the blood is the primary area that typically needs support. And some of the best foods that support the blood and help those with true brown eyes include spinach, greens, alfalfa, red cabbage, beets, blackberries, and black cherries. Now, besides eating a diet full of fresh fruits and veggies, people with brown eyes should avoid fried foods and, of course, junk food. Just because their lymphatic system is thought not the primary system that needs support doesn't mean they can eat wheat, dairy, and sugar willy-nilly. That's not what I'm saying. Now, true brown-eyed people also tend to have issues with digestion and absorbing and storing minerals. So it's important to eat foods that are easy on the digestive system and also loaded with healthy nutrients. I keep saying true brown eyes, and that's because some people have eyes that appear brown, but under magnification, they are actually a combination of blue and brown or mixed. People who have mixed irises have parents or grandparents where one person has brown eyes and the other has blue. People with mixed irises may also have eyes that appear hazel or golden brown. For these people, the areas that need the most support for those with mixed irises, what we also call biliary irises, are the liver, gallbladder, and pancreas. And because of their mixed ancestry, someone with biliary eyes may also need to support the blood, like a brown-eyed person, or the lymph, like a blue-eyed person, because they've inherited both tendencies. Now, like the brown-eyed hematogenic, someone with biliary eyes needs to avoid foods fried in oils and heated oils. Fried foods, heated oils are not good for the liver. They also, these people also need to avoid wheat, dairy, and sugar, as well as junk foods and processed and packaged foods. Foods with additives and preservatives, we don't need them. For our mixed biliary irises, vegetables that are green, red, and orange are great because they support the liver. Also include bitter greens as they are especially beneficial in supporting the liver. So bitter greens would include arugula, cilantro, chard, uh, dandelion greens, things like that. In upcoming videos, I'm going to share more on the different signs and markings that iridologists look for and what they mean to our health and what you can do to support your health if you have these signs in your irises. If you're interested in studying iridology, check out the Certified Comprehensive Iridology Program available through my online education platform, Brilliant Health with Beth. I'll drop a link to that below in the description. Please remember that the information shared in this video and all of my videos is for educational purposes only. The information shared does not replace, nor is it intended to be used as medical advice or medical consultations, and is not to be used to diagnose, treat, cure, or prescribe any illness or disease. Always seek the advice of a qualified healthcare professional when there is cause for concern. Thanks for joining me on this journey into iridology and the incredible insights our eyes can provide. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more intriguing content. Remember, the eyes truly are the windows to our health. <music>